It is Women's History Month, and so we're taking a look back at a trailblazer from the Civil War era that you probably never even heard of. WUSA 9's Evan Koslov joins us now in the studio. So, Evan, tell us about Dr. Mary Walker. All right, good morning. Well, she received the Medal of Honor, which is a big deal. That's because of the millions of people who have served our nation, only 3,500, less than that, have received that honor. And perhaps more impressive than this is that to this day, she's the only woman to ever do so. Dr. Mary Walker was uh, a trailblazer of sorts. I think Dr. Mary Walker is a real life hero, a, a role model. She's somebody everybody should be aware of because of what she did and how she did it. We're speaking with Ron Rand, the president of the Congressional Medal of Honor Foundation, and we're talking about Dr. Mary Walker. In an era where women were second class, she defied the odds as a union surgeon. She was a woman serving as a doctor when not many women were doing that, on a battlefield when no other women were doing that, in combat um, when only men were doing that. And Walker certainly faced sacrifice as well. In April 1864, she was taken prisoner for four months. In the following year, her dedication and courage was rewarded with the prestigious Medal of Honor. President Lincoln approved the medal in 1861. Since then, it's been awarded to fewer than 3,500 people, and only 75 of them are still alive today. And of all those medals awarded, only one has gone to a woman. But her legacy went far beyond just combat. She was also an ardent feminist, making impacts in big and small ways. She pioneered the use of wearing pants for women. People, women who wear pants today owe a debt of gratitude to Mary Walker. It's her trailblazing, way of saying, I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to serve in the army, I'm going to go to combat, I'm going to wear pants when I do that. You can just go down the line and say, what a legacy that woman left. And a top hat, not just pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw on the old top hat. She's incredible. She writes her own story. She wasn't going to take no, and yeah. she's going to be her own person. Yeah. Good um, on her, man. Yeah. I'm surprised that there's only one woman who has ever gotten the medal. That's, that to me is so staggering. We were just talking about that. That's because for many, many years, women didn't serve in the military. Right. And uh, less people are actually getting this award now. 